of you at the wrench. Oh my god. Come on, just go. Go, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Fuck. Jeez, this map is honestly insane, bro. Honestly, I don't even know how much, how long I've been here. Jesus Christ. So yeah, like we're gonna have to go for this chasing and shit and my god, I just can't. <clears throat> Give me I mean a damn scarf. Wow. They really took in the time and effort, huh? That was close. We should be at the carnival in no time. We can finally rest, Violet. In the hair, wow. As Violet and Bunny escaped the mournful metro, they headed straight for the carnival to finally meet up with. What? This isn't supposed to. <clears throat> finally! We need to run! Now! Okay. Oh, where the fuck is it? Where is it? Gonna... Motherfucker. All right. Come on! Where's the key? Where's the key? Come on! Let's go! Come on! Yes! Finally! Jesus! Fuck! Oh my god, you don't know how long I've even been in this chapter. Jesus! Oh god! Get me the fuck out of here! I swear to god. Oh, go and ju just shoot that bitch. I honestly don't care. Shoot the bitch. Shoot the bitch. Oh, well, that's gone now. Oh, uh, why, why'd you, why'd you look at her ears? Oh, oh, flashback. Okay, that doesn't help. Why do all the other animals look normal, but the they just look pumpy? Are you excited to go to the carnival? Yes, father. Yes. 
I'm going to ride the merry-go-round a thousand times. I bet you will, sweetie. Oh, here comes the train. Let's stand away from the track. Oh. Oh, we got a... Oh, oh, a bunny? I can't wait to go on the ferris. Oh! Oh, uh oh. Oh, no. Ah, you know what? Now I see why, honestly. All right. Some piggy thinks that she, like, that she's, like, the bunny that killed her. Oh. And for the second time. Goddamn. Wow, these wars are, these backstories are pretty fucking disturbing. Well, we're out of that bitch. Oh, I see Mr. P. There he is. There's that little fucker. At least he didn't, like, run away from a helicopter or something. I'm sorry if you're leaving you two behind at back at the hospital, but I'm glad you make it back, made it back here alive. Let's shelter here for a bit. Then we can head to my laboratory up north together. Are you really gonna trust him the second time? Uh, okay, whatever. What the fuck was that? No, 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 what the fuck was that? No. Are you sure we could trust this guy? After all, he did leave us for dead at the hospital. If he tries any funny business, he'll get what's coming to him. Don't you worry about that. <sighs> Jesus. What time is it now? Yeah. Haven't I been here for almost like two hours just being in the shop there? <sighs> oh my god. Just give me to chapter 4, honestly. I don't even care at this point. And great, now we're back at chapter 1. I don't really give a shit. No, I don't... Kill me. Fuck you. Well, that was chapter 3. Yeah, um, as you can see right now, this is basically part 2, because, um... Yeah, yeah, I already... Yeah. <laughs> I... Yeah, it's just gonna be part 2, don't even ask why, but... Yeah, now we're just gonna get straight into chapter 4. So yeah, um, bot mode. Let me get my ult count in here real quick. Hopefully it's chapter four. I swear to God, I'm going to fucking scream. Oh my God! All right, now here we are in Outrage Outpost. Um, so now we're gonna need two potions for that. So um, yeah, I I'm not even gonna be bothering playing Portals 2023 and stuff. Um. Because I already went through enough in Chapter 3 and stuff, especially, so, um... Yeah, if you just want to see a video of Portal 20... Uh, Badgy? You there? I don't think this elevator is working. Oh, dear. Why are some of these, why are some of these, am, like, um, are you okay? Um, Medio, um, if you can find me a screw, wire and blowtorch, I might be able to get this out for you working. Seriously, but why, why do some of these designs look so fucking uncanny? I hope Badgie's okay. Let me find Milo. Alright then. Um, yeah, this is completely new, so I honestly do not know any of the locations, honestly. And yet, I haven't found one item yet. I think the main bot is supposed to be Marley Russell. I, I, I might be getting that wrong. I don't know, but... I, I, yeah, see, like... Yeah. It, it's obviously the torture and stuff, you know. Um... Oh, fuck. God damn. Jesus Christ. If you can find me the right key, I'll be able to unlock this door. Oh, fuck. All right. He is very... He's a pretty fast boy. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Makes the entire screen shake. That's Casel's shop. Jesus fuck. Um, all right. Well, there's nothing in here, so that's great. Um, I don't know who this character's name is yet, obviously, because... This map. Oh, of course, I forgot that character. I forgot. 
I forgot that character. Jesus Christ. Um, oh, we found a key. Yay! Um, doesn't it go over here? Hold on. Purple key? No, that's the blue key. Fuck. <clears throat> well, does it go to, um, that cowgirl or something? Yeah, cowgirl? The nurse cow or whatever? No? Fuck. Well, it looks like it's going that way, so we're just gonna go this way. Um... I usually use low graph. What was that? That was that. Low. I don't know. Oh, someone opened the door! Yay! Oh, okay, asshole. Um, all right, this is just the fitness room. How's this? Oh, oh, oh! Nah! Honestly, I'd like it that you can actually like you know spectate the actual you know bot and stuff. Instead of the app, like the players or whatever, you know? Jesus Christ. He's one menacing fella, huh? Alright, here we go. Chapter 4, Outraging Outpost. What if Lucille's um, military stopped the infection? This outpost was supposed to be sealed and protected against the infection at all costs. How did it... Alright. I have no idea. I wonder if Bud Badgie is okay. He might have a solution to this whole story. Mr. B, Mr. B and Badgie were working on a cure together. Mr. B left the outpost with the promise of looking for more. Okay. Uh, fellas, this radio has a direct connection to the research installment. Can't read all this shit. Alright. Oh. Alright then. I'm going to look for supplies while we wait for Badgie to respond. Oh, and there's Camellia. I think that's what her name was. Alright then, yeah! The, the newest chapter that came out, like, not, not even a day ago by the time we're recording this. Um, chapter 4. Outraging Outpost. Alright. Alright then. Um, guess there's really nothing in here, then, huh? Oh, God, that doesn't sound, that, that doesn't sound good. Alright. But we got a red key now, so... Um, Maybe since people have been playing this, they probably know where it is, but not me, especially. Well, um, yeah, his name is Scorch Hound and stuff, so we don't really know his full, like, actual name and stuff, so, uh, is that supposed to be a radio signal or something? From, and that's the green key. Yeah, we obviously have 15 minutes, so that doesn't, sound, that doesn't look like a good sign. Because every time when you have, like, more minutes to a timer in a chapter, that means it's going to be a lot more fucking difficult and will probably take you more a while, of a while, so. Oh, wait, does it go in here? Probably does, right? Yep, alright. Oh, God! Who's that? Who is that? Who the fuck's that? Who goes there? Oh! Hi there! Oh, fuck. Oh, no. You spooky. Shit. Um. Oh, God. I gotta get the hell out of there. Any items? Any items? Come on, any items? Wham! Item! Item! Oh, God. Green key. I gotta get... Ah! Well, then, that's great. Um, I got someone killed. Shit. Um. Well, then. Um. Let's go use the screen key. Why am I turning around somewhere? Um, all right. Well, then, there's multiple different kinds of, like, you know, enemies, obviously, you know? No shit, it's branch realities, what do you expect? Or hell, a piggy fan game, what do you expect? Like, just multiple bot- Fuck! He's chasing me. Uh, anyone in there? Pee pee poo poo? Alright, that was perfectly timed then, alright, um. Alright, we got another bitch in this house, huh? Alright. Um, alright, he just ran out there, alright. God damn, can you please stop chasing me and shake the fuck entire damn screen? All right, can you do that for me? Thank you, please. Thank you so much. Um, thanks so much, sweetheart. Um, all right, I got a yellow key. That's great. Yay, I got a yellow key. Hooray. Is this what Camilla, Camilla, Camilla needs, maybe? Look, I've never played this chapter before it, because it literally just came out, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, all right? Shit. Does it go there? I, I think you just passed by the... You want this? No? Is it just a completely gray key or something, huh? Is that what you want? You like gr you like gray so much, huh? Oh, fuck. 
Closed door! Ha, you bitch. Ah, squiggly bitch. Alright. That's not even a fucking word, but what the hell. Um. Alright, I'm pretty sure someone just had the blue key, so. Oh, fuck. Runway, 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 run, runway. Oh, God. Why the fuck are you dancing? We're in a life or death situation right now. Jesus, fuck. Alright. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Oh, God. Alright. Get stuck. Fuck. All right. Seriously, why are some of the signs so fucking uncanny, though? Or right, why the fuck are you dancing? We we're 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 suddenly about to die here. Um, I suppose the yellow key goes in there, so. Oh, huh. Do you have, do you have the key? Maybe? Do you have any kind of key, maybe? No? Fuck. Alright, so we got, like, completely different characters now and stuff, instead of, you know, your typical piggy characters like Pandy or whatever. Did no one found the key yet? Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh! Ha, <laughs> silly me! I'm such a fucking donut! Alright. Well, that ju well, I just wasted some time there. Yeah, you can play everything on me. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm the main star of the blaming. Haha. <laughs> All right. At least we got ten more minutes, and people are fit pretty fast when it comes to being in these kinds of games. So, place. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Hello. And well, oh, of course. Jesus Christ! You guys are disturbing. I, I, I can definitely tell I'm going to see, like, further somewhere or whatever. All right. But blue key. Yes, let's go. Blue key. All right. So whoever has the purple key, use it right now. Or unless you guys scares, scared and stuff, you know. Which I thought we had to, like, walk through the, in, like, the dark area and stuff, you know. Because that would be more terrifying. And I really had to use the bathroom so damn bad. But, uh, I need to beat this chapter right now. And I have an important key, so I can't really, you know, do that. Uh, yeah. I haven't really seen... Of course, all right. Who's next? Who the hell's next? Uh, boop. Anyone? Oh. Hello there. Uh, oh, God. All of you are really damn disturbing shit. He really had some fun with you guys, did, didn't he, huh? He really likes to torture people, huh? Like, entity, huh? All right. All right, I should probably no 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 fuck 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 fuck. Please just get away. Come on, oh god! All right, where's the key? Where's the key? Where's the key? I need a key. All right, one is seven. All right, got it. One is seven. Yes, great key. One is seven. All right. So seven. Gotta remember that. Seven. So there's like four digit code, I guess. So seven. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Very simple. All right. Can we actually beat this for a try? I mean, obviously not. We just went through more full metro, so. Take the fucking key. Thank you. Oh. The fuck was that? Got a screw. The fuck is the screw? Oh, wait. Probably for the jerky. He didn't hear useful, maybe? No. Fuck. All right. Well, I mean, we got a screw for, um, whatever the fuck, so, um, let's go give this to whatever the fuck, you know, because I don't remember his name. I'm trying to be in a good mood, because I went for Mournful Metro again, like I said before. Um, I still can't get over how many times I actually had to fucking play it, and, the, and, it's, and especially the train chase. I really want to use the bathroom right now, but I can't use it right now. And I, of course, he's right there. I think he just disappeared, and he's now coming off after me. Are you? Are you? Are you? Oh, you're stuck. Okay. Fuck, I got him stuck. Sorry, guys. My bad. I had to get this to... Whatever the fuck. Um, Milo. Yeah, My Milo. The puppet name. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, God. Just get stuck, please. Take your fucking... Ah! 
Thank you, fucking screw. I don't know. Ah, did someone even use the purple key yet? Because from what it looks like, no one used it yet. I feel like everyone's just completely dead right now, and I'm their only hope now. I mean, there's one person, but he probably doesn't have... He probably doesn't even have shit, so... This is not good. Um... Alright, whatever, so... Oh god. Hi there. You look very interesting. Alright, someone already did use it. It's just that I don't exactly know what key they, they actually gave them, so... Did they... No, that's it. Alright. Wait, but what about... Wait, hold on. What about the area, though? Hold on. Yeah, like, in this place. Hold on. That probably open. Hold on. Or you just stay there. Oh, fuck. All right. Oh. All right. Okay, so we need to find the code. All right. Who even is that? Is that just some healing thing or whatever? There's nothing else. Um, it's really right at the door. You gotta be fuck. Oh fuck! Now we need to find two more digits. Wait, did I already saw one before? Like, where was it, though? Wait, was it? Yeah, wasn't it in here or something? Ah, yes, alright. Three is five, alright. I'll just guess the other one. You gotta be- mm. Fuck, alright. Three is five, gotta remember that. Please, for the love of God, get the hell out of there. Let's go. Let's go, bitch. Alright, the wire, yes. Well, now we could go up here. I'm on top of the world, bitch. Alright. Let's hope, let's hope I can actually beat this before I actually piss myself. Not in, like, fear, but just literally... I'm I'm literally about to piss right now. <laughs> I, shouldn't, I should not be really announcing that, because that is fucking weird of me. Um... Where, where the hell is this entrance? Um, Jesus Christ, I swear to God. Uh, it's always like the difficult times, like where, it's always like wh where I need to focus the most and I have to use the bathroom and that's gonna waste time. What the fuck game? Or what, what the fuck ladder? All right. Do not kill me right now. I'm doing something important. That, this is the completely wrong, oh my God. Alright, where the, where the hell was this area? Bro, I am completely lost right now, where the hell, alright. Where the hell is, here, maybe? You gotta be kidding me, where the hell, alright. I've been going in this multiple times. How can I not find it now? Bro, what the fuck? Oh god! No! Do not! Fuck!
Badgie, I'm on my way. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! I don't wanna die! No! Bro! Oh my god. Wasting time, wasting time. Stop chasing me. Come on. Come on, hurry up! Why? Bro! Oh my god. Damn! No mercy, Jesus. We're doing this again, we're doing this again. Alright. You gotta be kidding me! These fucking bots, man. I swear. Oh my god, why? Bro! Oh my god, I swear to god! Go, go! Why do you take so fucking long? Alright. Two seven.
Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Go! Go! Come on! Oh my god, I swear to fuck. Oh my god! Ah! Oh Jesus! Oh my god! Oh, so many fucking, so many fucking cords everywhere. Who let him in? Do not come in here. Hurry up! Oh, thank God. Wait, is this it? Well, what does it say? Badgie, I'm on my way down. What does it say, though? Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Damn! Are we gonna have to do some fucking boss fight or something? Marley Russell! I knew it! Oh, got a few extra minutes. Shit. I knew it, it was Marley Russell. The fuck is this? Oh, hell no. Nah. Well, um, we're somewhere else. I suppose we're gonna have to deal with someone else then, huh? Or something else. I think I hear something. Well, it looks like we're gonna need to like find some wrench or whatever to like power this up or whatever. So, yeah, thankfully he gave us like a few extra minutes. Oh, that's close. Fuck. At least he gave us a few extra minutes. That's good. Wait, did someone already? Did you? Oh, this guy already found the wrench. W, bro. W. All right. Sorry, there's just, a, like, so many fucking cords. I have the Chromebook charger. I got, like, you know, chargers for, like, my iPad and iPhone and stuff because we're gonna need them later. Like, gee, I just have fucking everything here, you know, just to beat this. All right. Wait, was that it? All right, yes, the, there we go. Nice. Now we can go up here. The fuck? Who the fuck's that? Why do I hear theme? Oh, fuck. That doesn't sound good. Oh. Damn! Shit! Oh. Got a potion! Yay! Let's go. You grab that. And we're just gonna get the hell out of here. Well, then we got a new opponent here. That's not good. Um, How can you sprint? Or they probably have the sprint thing. Yeah. Oh, Hi! Oh, it's Badgie! Oh, shit! Hi, Badgie! Oh, dear! You don't... You don't look well. You're probably still sick or something. I don't know. Um, alright, let's get the hell out of there. Probably gonna have to go over here now. Oh. Never mind. Um. Oh. How's this? Oh! Okay, that injured you! Fuck! Alright. Alright, so don't touch them. Don't touch... I do not want to risk dying right now. Um, was that it? Do we, like, do I, like, go? Wait, isn't there supposed to be another potion? Yeah. Yeah, like, there's another potion, so, like. Yeah, there's another potion somewhere. I think, I, I think so. Oh, God. 
Oh, wait. Don't mind me. Just gonna close the door on your ass. And, of course, you're chasing me now. R right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Chase the person who's stressing the most. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good up. I suppose someone else touched the acid, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Just chase the person who's stressing the most. Yeah, so... Okay, uh, probably not do that. Wait, what? Wait, are we like... Wait, what are we doing? Oh, shit, that opened. Hold on. Oh, God. Wait for me! Guys! Don't leave me here! Bitches? Alright. What the hell? Uh, please do not get... If you get fucking stuck right now, I swear to God. Alright, you got potions. Yes, let's go. We can do this. Yes, let's go. Oh my God, where the fuck did the other person go? Yo! Yo, no, you bitch. Come on. If you mess this up right now, I swear to God. Come on. No, what? No, what? We do not have... A oh, okay. You guys are going different ways. Alright, then. I see. All right. Oh, God. Gotta go. Gotta go, bitch. All right. No! Fuck! Damn it. All right. Well, great. Um. Come on. It could be a great time now to fucking open right now. Come on. Yes. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. 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 Come on. Come on. Please. Please. Hurry up. No, 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 no. Uh, SAVE YOURSELVES! It's about to be a hero that... No, what? Where the... Oh, okay. Good. Alright, you guys still have a minute. Okay, good. I was about to fucking yell at Noah for a second. Alright. Yes, we got you to do this. Come on! We're the team! We're a team of bri branch realities. We're the branch team. Together, we are branch realities. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Finally. Not that hard. Let's go! Let's go! Escape... Outraging outpost. Give me the fucking cutscene now. I swear. All right, now we're in business. Badger will be okay in no time. Great job, Matt. Matto. Um, I knew you could count. I know we could count on you. Whoa! Uh, guys. Crap. We're cornered. Oh shit. Mito, the antidote. Oh. Oh shit. Did did it work? Good morning, everyone. This is your daily Lucello News. Today, we crawled 10 months since the end of the infection. The deadly disease that turned our beloved ones into ruthless beasts have been brought to the end, additionally by Lucello's outpost crew, who bravely fought against the infected to decay. The antidote that is ended to serve as a blueprint for the cure. Oh, love her. Wait, is this meant to be the end of... Piggy Branch Realities. Today, we count on more people, more than 10 cure installations being installed by cities per month. There are reasons to be Fuck. I Whatever. This could have been the end for our nation, but our beliefs and loves for others will always stand out from any disease that our daily little news everyone. Stay strong. Um the fuck is that? What why is it why is it starting to zoom in a little bit? Oh okay, that's kinda oh okay, that's shut down, alright. Kind of a crime scene, I guess you could say was there. So, so that was it? That was the entire... So, was that like the final chapter? Like, was that the finale of Piggy Branch Realities? Um, from what it looked like, I guess it was... The final installment of the Piggy Branch Realities, I guess? Um, I 
don't know, honestly. Uh, but yeah, now we can read like these and stuff, so um, why not just take the time to actually read these, shall we? In the main universe, Penny and her parents um, leave to test the cure to the linomial, lin uh, whatever, disease, while Georgie stays behind, resulting in the three piggies turning infected, thus forcing Georgie to run away in this universe. Penny stays behind with Georgie because their parents wish to keep them safe. After visiting Mr. P and receiving the test cure, they return to their household and begin to transition into aggressive beasts. Sorry, just had to... Penny and Georgie escape their house and make their way to the hospital that their parents visited before they got infected. In the middle of the TSP raid, um, Georgie is her and Penny shortly leaves his side in order to find an exit. However, Mr. P stumbles upon the child and gives him a potion to make the pain go away. Penny comes back to get Georgie, only to learn everything that has just occurred. She knew it was disastrous and thus... They said their goodbyes to each other as Penny ventures off. Five years later, Penny is stuck and alone, defending what remains. The home of the Piggy family, they raised two great children. What if Penny stayed behind with Georgie? <clears throat> Alright, yeah, we're going to have to do a lot of yapping over here, so let's do this. Um, chapter 2, Gloomy Forest. What if Doggy was never given the potion? Although this forest was turned into a movie set, there's definitely something that remains here. Doggy and Miguel um, are erupt. Uh, um, abruptly woken up by Pony and Willow. Pony smashes the potion that Will forced him to give to the officers and runs off. Doggy takes on a fight with Willow as Miguel decides to get an exit open. A mutated monster rises from the floor where the potion was smashed. And plenty of other infected and cursed monsters roam the forest. Miguel makes his way around them all and is able to find the code that opens up the gate exit of the forest. Miguel is ready to leave, but Doggy continues to fight Willow until he loses control of his anger and lodges an axe into Willow's head. Miguel runs away from um, runs away out of fright <clears throat> from someone he used to call friend. And Doggy decides to suck it up and bury Willow in the graveyard. The forest, yeah. I can't swallow my own spit to keep talking. After going back to his cabin, he's caught he's caught off guard by a mysterious person who's offering help at the cost of giving up useful information of the LPD. Doggy decides to accept and meets the mysterious person who admits their name as Cruiter. The night later, they <clears throat> <clears throat> fuck. Um, they do their trades and go back off to their places of living. Doggy smells a terrible stench up from the axe and decides to head to bed. But remains of Willow are no longer in a grave. Lone Doggy has been born. Chapter 3, Mournful Metro. What if Bunny refused to take the cure from Mr. P, although the rumors of zombies in the Metro were proved to be false? There is most definitely something still here. Oh dear, yeah, there there is a lot. There is a lot here. Yeah, expand text, so... Yeah, there is a... There is quite a fucking lot here, so, um... Let's just begin, to, like, speaking, shall we? Um, put this on, like, fucking five times speed if you want. Violet, after just fainting at the school, slowly woke up to Bunny and Mr. P arguing over her hospital bed. From what Violet could make out, Mr. P was offering the cure to Bunny, but she was refusing it. Bunny signaled for Mr. P to leave just a short while after. Within the next minute, Violet got out of bed and stood up to hug Bunny. She was... Fuck! Alright. She was thankful she didn't die. All the... All of a sudden, the sirens started to go off just as the duo heard growling noises from the hallway. When they started, when they rushed outside to see who was making the noise, they saw Barry, on in a in a ne nest in a nestologist. I, I probably a antologist, whatever. Yeah, yeah, basically short. Sure. Um, what seemed to be <clears throat> shit. All right, who had seemed to be infected as as Bunny and Violet ran one way for, for their lives. Um, they saw Mr. P head up to the roof, um, to hitch a ride on his helicopter. The other way, the, they safely made it to the exit and collapsed onto the street outside. After getting up and dusting themselves off, they started their trek to the nearest metro station. <clears throat> Violet claimed that if the two of them got to the carnival in the west way, um, they would be safe. Finally getting to the metro, they walked down the corded, um, entrance stairs and into the ticket booth area. Right as they stepped foot in the entrance area, a large gate behind them closed abruptly without warning, with nothing else to do but go forward. They <clears throat> <clears throat> Jesus fuck my sorry. They looked for tools to possibly fix their train, stationed there, walking through the desolate 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 um halls of the Lucella Metro. 
Um, Bunny and Violet felt as if they were being watched by someone or something. The main lights were all turned off, so Bunny kept tripping over piles of trash or tipped over suitcases. The walls were stained and grimy. Fen fending machines smashed open, laying sideways. Um, the place clearly got it rough during the eight months of the infection. Um, deciding to find a way to turn on the main systems of the abandoned metro, Bunny and Violet kept moving. Um, after kicking down a gate, breaking into a server room, and hacking an electrical box, Bunny and Violet successfully turned everything on. The lights overhead um, flickered to steady glow as they made their way up to the platforms, and they were immediately attacked by um, multiple oversized... Um, boom! <clears throat> <clears throat> Shit, sorry. Um, um, boil, um, ridden rats before the the infection. Scientists collected rats from the Ocello Metro and used them as test animals that were used to test the cure. After the infection started, these rats ended up migrating back to where they came from, the Metro. As Violet and Bunny kicked the rats aside, they finally got to the only um dormant um train. They bust down the door to the conductor's room and started fiddling with knobs and levers. After doing after doing some after doing some light repairing on the train, the cabin began to stutter to the start to a start uh, as they as as they were departing the metro, the creature started to chase after them. Um screeching and yelling. The train started to pick up speed and left the metro Oh, fast. Violet and Buddy sat down on the floor, panting. They were finally on their way um, to the car to the carnival. To <laughs> yeah, that was that's a lot of talking. Jesus Christ, that was my voice. Um, escaped on lock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the fuck I did. Do I have to join back? Man, this is really taking a while than expected, huh? Jesus Christ. Um, all right, whatever. There we go, or wait, there we go, alright, so. <clears throat> <clears throat> Shit, Jesus. Sorry about that, um, the outpost, a place with multiple lethal weapons and strong soldiers. Who could have imagined that this virus could break through these sturdy barriers and cause irreparable, um, damage to what w was once a haven for me- Mother- With all due occasion, those who survived the attack found themselves in the pit with no to run. Fortunately, Milo managed to find a working radio. Upon turning it on, a strange voice called out to them. You gotta be. F Upon turning it on, um, a strange voice called out to them. It was Badgy. After spending the last few weeks researching the infection, he had forged an antidote capable of restoring self-awareness to the infected. However, the survivors still faced numerous challenges. Um, the lever, uh, the elevator, um, leading to the lab was broken. The outpost was swarmed with infected soldiers. Badgy himself was sick and in need of. Um, immediate, um, help, and some survivors had to protect their base from further attacks. Camilla, Milo, and Mato decided to unite the forces and fix the elevator by helping each other out. He yeah, um, after repairing the elevator, Mato embarked on a search through the lab to rescue Badgie and retrieve the antidotes. Fortunately, unfortunately, the various, um, sub- <sighs> This is a lot of talking, geez. Unfortunately, the various, um, um substances- um, Badgie had used to create the antidote proved too much for him to handle. His sickness was a um, prelude to infection, rendering him a humanoid devoid of co um, coherent actions. Um, Mato had to retrieve the antidotes himself while uh, avoiding Badgie. Finally, Mato collected the antidotes and hurried to the surface. He delivered them to Camilla, um, who intentionally hand handed um, samples to her original outposts and laboratories. Despite sig um, significant um, losses, pain, troubles, and moments of isolation, the world began to heal. Badgie's antidote kept the research efforts going until a flawless cure was developed. And to this day, this universe experiences a normal or an almost normal life. Was the outpost outbreak a um, um, con so constant? What Was the outpost outbreak a consequence of their actions, or was it part of something much bigger? than they would have ever imagined. What if, um, Lucella's, um, military stopped the infection? Well, yeah, it seems that. <clears throat> now, look, I don't know if this meant is I don't know if this is meant to, like, be the end of, you know, Piggy Branch realities. I mean, there's most likely gonna be, like, some other chapters where, like, what if, um, 
Let's see. Um, what you know? Um, what if? Um, what if? You know, what if the player Sizzy and Pony ever like spotted? You know, um, Georgie and stuff. You know, um, you know, you know that kind of stuff. I don't know if this is, go is it like. I don't know if this is, like, the actual finale of the game, or it's probably gonna be more in the future, like, skin quests or whatever. I honestly don't know. We're just gonna have to find out soon. But, yeah, there... Yeah, but, yeah, there's this extra chapter called Portals 2023, which was released during the Christmas time, I'm pretty sure. Or, no, no, fuck. The Halloween time, I'm pretty sure, and is added... Re-added, like, every... Well, no, it's, like, here now. Well, yeah, um, we're just gonna play this and stuff. So, yeah, yeah, it's basically an event chapter, so... Yeah, I'm gonna only try this one time and stuff, because I already went through enough and stuff, you know, so, um, yeah, um, cam bot, alright. Alright, let's just try this, like, let's just only try this one time and stuff. I don't, because I do not want to risk being here any longer. And yeah, there's like, release around the Halloween time and stuff, so it's basically just a Halloween chapter, so. Room 1, spawn. Are we making that short? Goddamn. Alright then. So we just go in here. Let me kind of turn the graphics down if it's even down. Yep, it's all right down. What do they? No, fuck it. I'm just gonna. I'm just trying to see better and stuff, you know. So. Oh dear. Room two. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, hi! What the fuck was I supposed to do? Okay, so for the first one, you basically just have, like, when, it's, when it says he's watching you, you basically just have to look at it, but when it says, um, don't, don't look back, you just have to, like, just run and stuff, so, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's, like, about six rooms to go through and stuff, so, yeah, let's at least try to get as far as we can, and if we basically just die, then whatever. Am I doing it? I, I think I'm doing it. Okay. Alright then. Oh. Huh? What the fuck? Alright, this is just crazy, man. Um. Alright, you know, I'm not even gonna be, I'm not even gonna bother trying the, the portals one, so. Yeah, now we're just gonna get into the bundles that I actually bought and stuff, so. Yeah, this is Paisano, I'm pretty sure that's how, you know, like, how you say the, like, the name and stuff, so. Yeah, the only time I heard Pi about Paisano was, um, just fucking, you know, um. Yeah, fu from fucking, um, Super Duper Sario Sisters, yeah, definitely, um. Alright, so yeah, um, the enemy has woke up, so yeah, aka Paisano, basically just a magician piggy and stuff, um, which I'm pretty sure released around, like, you know, when Piggy Branch Realities actually came out and stuff, so, yeah, along with, um, the roulette trap, and also an ability and stuff, which you actually have to use as, you know, a, uh, character, like a, like a player, so, I'm pretty sure, yeah, so, you know, all we have to do is just place this down, just gotta wait until, like, we energy. I have two of my alt accounts and stuff, you know, in here, so, yeah. Now we just have to place one down, and see, yeah. And basically, if it lands on any of the four and stuff, something random will happen. Like, maybe, like, maybe red will have death or something, or blue will make you slow down, or green will make, like, some, I don't know, creature up here, or, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, let, let's test this out, shall we? So, yeah, what is it gonna land on? It's landing on... 
Blue! And a sentinel appears! Alright, so... That's interesting. Um, alright. So yeah, and then it just goes away. So yeah, now... Yeah, let's just see what all the ones actually look like. So, um... Yeah, now my other count's dead and stuff, you know, so... Gotta kinda wait for this and stuff, you know? And while you're at it, probably just, you know, subscribe. Probably just make sure you never miss a video, I guess, so... Anyways, um, I never really say that and stuff. I don't want to be too clickbaity, but anyways. Yeah, now what's the other one? So, yeah, step on it and we'll get... A yellow! What is a yellow? Okay, so it basically just slows you down. Very simple. So, yeah, we got blue and yellow down, so now red and green. Alright, so now, which one are we going to get now? Red or green? Hopefully it's not one that we already got, so... Next up is red! And you basically just simply get trapped and stuff, so... Yeah, now for the final one, blue. We honestly don't know what blue's gonna be, but we're gonna find out together, shall we? Alright, now let's see. So, which one are we gonna get now? Hopefully it's not something that we already got, and it's gonna be... Blue! Wait. Oh, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Oh, we've got... Oh, look at the background characters. I wonder what their, their lore on is. Like, oh, I actually like this, like, you know, like, air, like, area and stuff, you know? Like, basically, where you just spawn in if you're the piggy and stuff, you know? So, yeah. Pretty unique, honestly. So, yeah, now we're gonna try and get green and see what that does. Also, why was the smack actually on point, honestly? Like, once, once he spawned in, just by, like, smack him, you know? Alright, so now we just have to wait again. For like the fifth time. Oh, he even has a scratch on his nose. Wonder who did that. Probably himself. He probably looks he looks kinda like depressed. Since he keeps smacking himself or whatever. Or it's probably getting controlled by Tio or whatever. I mean he doesn't have an orange eye, but whatever. Just guess honestly. Or probably the portal master, maybe. Like he's probably the villain of the I don't know. You know. So yeah. Um no, let's see. Is it gonna be green? It is green! What, what, what is that? Oh, it blinds their vision and stuff. Alright, so, blue is a sentinel, red is just, um, slowing down, um, yellow is just completely trapped, and green is just blinding your vision. So, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, alright, now. Damn. My son, oh, they're just kids! I also like that it, like, fades out and stuff, you know? It's of just, like, you know, just stand up, you get it, so... Yeah, now can I, like, equip something else? Fuck. Oh, wait, did I forget to change this? Alright, so now we have the gift bot, um, skin. Like, the bundle and stuff. Yeah, this is gift bot. It, it's, it's really just, um... Yeah, it's, it's really just boxy boo if it was Christmas time, you know? Yeah, and speaking of which, it was also released during the Christmas time, obviously. And it was actually a free bundle, a limited time free bundle. Wow, fairy shocker. So, um... Yeah, there's also, like, a light trap or whatever, and, oh yeah, right, I'm in the outpost now, so, um, kinda fucking dark here, but, yeah, um, let's just go to my alt accounts and stuff, so, um, yeah, yeah, there's all, it, it also has an ability as well, but we'll get to the abilities after we review all the skin, like, the exclusive skins and, like, stuff we have and stuff, you know, so, yeah, so yeah, this is the light trap, so let's see what it does, one of the alt accounts, Mr. McGoodfart. And yeah, basically just bright, like, brightens your sc screen and stuff, you know, so, or, hold on, let me, yeah, so, um, let me, let me show you real quick, on, hold on, so, yeah, we basically, yeah, so I'm on this alt account, so, yeah, it basically brightens your screen, basically just brightens your screen full of piss, so yeah, now let's just go kill them, damn, hold on, let's see the perspective, hold on, let me, uh, let me actually see the perspective of, hold on, so, sorry about that, um, yeah, let's, so this is what the, like, the, like, the player actually see, hold on, gotta get the, so yeah, this is what, yeah, I'm on my iPad, so this is what, damn, that ain't no fun, isn't it, alright, so now we have the, um, Dark Cupid Bundle, 
Which is basically just, you know, Valentine's Sizzy. And this was released during the Valentine's and stuff. So, yeah. I basically bought it. Yay! Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. This was basically... Yeah, this was basically, uh, like, a bot for, like, the Valentine's event or whatever, you know? Evolving around Sizzy and all that stuff, so... Yeah, um, and we also have the Dark Cupid, um... Yeah, the Dark Cupid, um, Trap. Which will basically, like, shoot at any player and basically just slow them down. So, yeah, we're just gonna test this out a little bit. And we have to wait motherfucking again. So, yeah, now, like, so... Yeah, and see? Now, um, if we basically walk... Yeah. Yeah, slow down. So, yeah, na now... Let, let's... Alright, so, yeah. And now, slow down. Ooh, spooky. Alright. Kill now. Hiya. Haha, <laughs> bitch. And there's another one down. Yep. Okay, they're already dead. Jeez. Oh, do that. Some of these actually have some descriptions, huh? So, um, Portal Master. The supreme leader of the multiverse um, defense team. A leader de designed to protect the first at all costs. And make any necessary sacrifices in order to save it. Hmm. So he's the reason for some of the piggy deaths. Like, funny, huh? Ah. No info. Alright, so some of these basically have no info. Hostile um, father. A father. A husband. He had a passion for collecting ancient relics and camping in the grown grass with sunny skies. He fell, he fell to the infection that he was wary of in the first place. Alright. Lifeless mother. A mother. A wife. She was the leader of the household, whom everyone had to listen to and obey if they didn't want issues. She worked um, smarter, not harder. One day, she decided to help test the cure, but her kindness soon became her downfall. <laughs> Alright. Um, Alright, so defend her penny, a sister and daughter. She, she would do anything to protect her little brother and make sure she was safe before anything. She made the mistake of not keeping her brother close, and so she lost him. Damn, so... There are a lot, and I mean, a, well, not that, but yeah, you get it, but, and I'm pretty sure that, yeah, some of these don't really have any info, so, all right, mutated Antio, um, an ant who rested in his ant nest, um, was rudely awoken by a flood in his home. Soon, the mysterious green substance got onto him. He then mutated to become a living-sized monster. Hmm. All right, and created by, ah, uh, or, ah, one, two, three, seven, one, five, all right, or nine. Alright, so, um, Probafar. Um, Probafar, otherwise known um, by his birth name, um, Paytex, um, was a highly trained soldier in the middle of a war. He had fallen and was nearing his death, but was approached by a mysterious being offering to help him live. With no other choice, he accepted and rise as a pawn to something unknown. Oh dear, not so good, huh? Alright, so, yeah, uh, pat Patters, no description, okay then. Hey, I actually got the lone doggy, so... Lone Doggy. Doggy. He, he always cared for the ones closest to him, but would end up letting himself get riled up. His anger, and, his anger ended up taking him down a road that he didn't want to follow, as he threw an axe right at the head of a criminal. Alright. Astra. Animal. The axolotl. Area of origin. Unknown. Known characteristics. Color ratio of frails changes to match their mood. Extremely lightweight. Ability to float naturally. Oh dear. Um, leaves a shooting star trail behind while zooming at high speeds. Huh. Alright then. Now we're getting to some... Alright. Gus. Alright then. Nothing. Um, Goro. Nothing again. Also got the skin. Um, Bazari. So, so there's no skin info. Okay then. Um, Wayne. Wayne was an outcast. Looked down upon his... Upon by his supposed friends and family for his dreams and becoming a rock star, he was approached by a mysterious being, giving him the opportunity of a lifetime at the cost of him finally becoming a rock star. He also became a werewolf, never to interact with the rest of the society ever again. I feel like that's Cruiter. I I I'm just saying it right now. Alright, Genesis, alright. Genesis, the cosmic being who used to who used this universe to gain powers, which led to him becoming the overlord of it. After searching for millions of years, he had finally discovered an ancient. He had finally discovered an ancient shrine filled with cosmetic power out of this world. Literally, Oscar, a lone cowboy who was betrayed and murdered by the only person he ever trusted in life, which stove him to insanity, corrupted in his soul, and now he kills anyone who comes in it comes his way, showing no mercy to anyone. Country is a long one. Myra. Myra was a king of the Moth Moon. She was respected and known for her unique powers and her weapon, which would. Give the planet energy 
as it used the power of the moon in, in more of in more a manageable way. Her kingdom was raided by another kingdom of wild beasts, leaving her no choice but to destroy the moon and everybody on it. She uses her weapon and and the power of the moon to destroy it and killing all the raiders, but everyone in the kingdom as well. She gets hit by the blast and winds up in Lucella, but is alive as she and her weapon or sword on um, powers of the moon, making her stronger than ever. Flora was a gardener who was offered a poison which would help test the cure for the Linomo, um, Lena, Linoma, Linoma, yeah, disease. She accepts and tries to grab the potion, but it falls to into the gardening box where her left hand was still in. The plant fused with the potion and became infected as the plant was technically a living or organism. Um, the plant took over Flora, and her body was taken over by the plant, essentially becoming infected, but with her still being there, conscious, just not in control. Jade! Jade was an adventurer who would explore mystical landmarks of the world, and he stumbled upon a beautiful and color um, colorful crystal hidden deep in a cave. After touching it, the entity known as Crystal took over Jade's body and made him be um, become her host within the world, giving Jade insane power. We got a girl bunny. Fearless Bunny, a warrior, or no, I got that mixed up. A survivor, a warrior. Bunny seeks the protection of those who are near her. She will battle for her life, and yours will bow hesitate, hesit hesitating. With her crossbow, she will take down anyone who dares to enter her way. Damn, she a badass indeed. Alright. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Alright. Vengeful San Piggy. Through pain, Penelope learned the hard way that humans can be cruel. Having having been murdered. She now seeks revenge in the depths of pit, uh, this morning, mournful metro. Anyone who dares to enter after hours shall not come out alive. Rumors have it that she only attacks those who have long white ears. But hey, that's just a rumor. Oh, Lucella. Oh, we're actually almost there. Okay, then. <clears throat> Alright. Holy sh- Alright, um, Senka. Senka was a mighty- Queen in ancient Egypt, regarded as a god by her subjects, her rule was unchallenged until one fateful day, two mischievous gods, dis um, desperate for her presence in the mortal world, this e there's a fucking ice cream truck outside, Steve sank her into seeking out the totem of afterlife. After a harrowing five day trip, she obtained the totem, only for her body to be claimed by the gods. To preserve her body, they kept sank her alive, ne sealing her away, mummified with a Sarco Sar Sarcophagus or whatever. Years turned to decades, turned to centuries. Millennia passed. One day, an archaeologist uncovered the tomb of Sanka. Upon opening her um, sarcophagus, um, she awakened the ancient evil residing in her body. Sanka now roams the modern earth, showing no mercy for those who oppose her and the god's power. He says that these are supposed to be like some, like um, summer contests or something, you know. Um, an attempt to bring back on a um extinct extinct um species of sea sponge. A team of scientists were able to bring a sample back to life with the use of um gamma radiation. It was it was too much, however. Now the beast wanders the lands and seas, muttering the few words. This is what happens when you try and play God. Soaky soaky air. So soaky air. Yeah, whatever. All right, silent vessel. Oh, the, the entire fucking. Entire fucking pirate ship, but a body. All right then. <clears throat> mm -mm. Excuse me. A group of vile pirates once roamed free, causing havoc to all those around. But one day, an ancient curse was laid upon them by a false blessing from the domain sacrifice or sarcophagus of Senka. They continued their region of terror after gaining immense strength and co coordination um, from said curse, and now a ripple in time has brought them to the modern world. Um, to bring back an uh, evil lost to time. Oh yeah, and certainly me forgot about the yeah the the skins. Um, do any do some of them? Yeah, some of them have. Okay, so full. Oh, let's go back. Um, all right, we'll just all right. Budgie but blue. A new universe was randomly birthed due, due to a mysterious cause. Along with it, a a very specific creature arose. The green feathered bird has now become blue, but the reason to why remains a mystery. You know, sound like bring up the game theory. <clears throat> All right, Paisano. Uh, Paisano, once a magician at Mr. P's carnival, until things went downhill, he would always make the best out of situations. But one of them was too hard for him to handle, leading to him um, parting ways with his workplace. 
Huh, that's not good. Oh, what? Huh. Yeah, I remember that name. Um, gift bot. Beep, boop. Beep, beep, boop. That's a robot language for an engineer wanted to make um, wrapping gifts faster to help his company succeed. But, well, someone must have um, snuck in the factory when it was closed and coded a virus which made it go haywire. Oh dear, that's not fucking good. Alright, <clears throat> now finally, Dark Cupid. Alright, Dark Cupid. Bitter and mean. Dark Cupid is responsible for all the heartbreak in the world and spreads negatively, e negativity, negativity, um, all around. With her bow, she shoots, she shoot arrows, um, that instantly kill anyone's happiness and fill them with anger and rage. You know, no wonder I'm so pissed all the time. That doesn't look too good. Alright, so, yeah, now we're gonna check out the abilities from all the bundles. So, first one... Yeah, so, first one is, I'm pretty sure, from, um... The Dark Cupid bundle, the Heartbreak and stuff. Which will, like, fill the piggies, um, screen up with, um... Hearts and stuff, so... Yeah, let's try this out, baby. Let's just wait for it to, like, you know... Jeez, why does it... Why does it take such a fucking while? Alright. So yeah, now we're gonna see the perspective of our, my old account. So yeah, once this happens, uh, see, yeah, now hearts will appear all around. Yeah, you basically have to click them and stuff to make them go away. Yeah, pretty interesting. All right, so the pepper spray, peppermint spray or whatever I think. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's from the gift bot. So yeah, if we go to my old account and yeah, it basically just blinds your vision and stuff because yeah, you're spraying fucking peppermint spray on you know his fucking face there god and now finally for the magician ability i don't exactly remember what it actually does exactly so we're going to find out for ourselves all right so let's see what happens ah damn Kind of rough there. Okay, yeah, so basically what the magician ability does, it is basically just spawns, like, a clone of you and stuff, you know? Like, if you're Penny, it'll basically just spawn Penny, or if, it's, or if you're Georgie, it basically spawns Georgie. It'll just basically create a clone of you, and will easily, will obviously just, like, go up to the piggy and stuff, and then basically just, you know, knock them out for only five seconds, and, yeah, pretty simple. Now let's die. Jesus fuck. You know what, I think I'm just gonna end the video right here, because it's, like, around like 4 30 p.m and like i've been here like since pretty sure like from 10 30 to 11 a.m and stuff so yeah as you can tell i've been here for a while there's also like another like game mode called outbreak and stuff which we're honestly not even gonna play honestly because once again i've been through a lot right now so um yeah but i'm pretty sure like outbreak is basically you know just an infection game mode but like more like rules and stuff like basically someone gets infected or something you know and like they can like put it onto another person but they can like find like a potion around the map or something i don't honestly know but i'll just end the video right here thank you guys so much for watching peace out